the great thing about Windsurfer Worlds is you just rock up. So all the equipment's supplied, you don't have to bring stuff on an aeroplane, just bring your harness and uh, your wetsuit. For the Perth Worlds, we'll have charter boards for all the international competitors, so they can just fly into Perth International Airport and the boards will be here at the sailing club all ready to go. Having been to Lake Garda, it was nice and windy there. We've got actually similar conditions here in Perth. A land breeze in the morning, the sea breeze in the afternoon, and normally about 15 to 20 knots and perfect conditions for the Windsurfer LT. As you'll see here, it's flat water, so the LT goes nice and fast, good, good planing conditions. So we had the worlds here last in 1984, which was just before I started racing. You can look up the video of that and you see it was fantastic racing with over 300 boards. We can handle lots of boards here on the river. It's a, about a kilometre wide, plenty of room, good consistent winds. It's good fast racing. There's plenty of places to stay right close to the sailing spot here. One of the best places will be the university colleges at quite a cheap rate because all the students are out for the summer. We've also got hotels in the city just behind me, hotels in Fremantle just down the river and Airbnbs all around. So there's heaps to see around Perth. Right from here you can get the ferry out to Rottnest Island, beautiful turquoise water, the quokkas and you can ride a bike around there or you can go surfing. For the worlds it's a good idea to take a bit of extra time. We've got really good wave sailing conditions on the ocean here and really good free sailing conditions too. We've got flat water areas up at Cervantes, we've got wave sailing areas, Lancelin and Margaret River and lots of surfing spots as well. A nice place to bring the family. We've got really good campgrounds all up and down the coast and just a, a fun place to, to hang out for a week or two.